Hey everyone, today we are tackling closed captions in Final Cut Pro and also burning them into your video. To add captions to a project in Final Cut Pro, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up and make sure you have your clip selected. And we're going to look here at the waveforms. And then what we're going to do is you're going to go up to edit. And then there's going to be captions add caption. There's also a keyboard uh, shortcut if you just wanted to do that. You can certainly do so. So here you go and you can select the type of caption that's going to be. It can be an ITT or an SRT. I like to do SRT because I believe it has more compatibility with other sites. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit English. And the reason I didn't do English United States is because there are other countries that also speak English, such as Canada, England, obviously. So I'm just going to go ahead and say English so it covers hopefully a broader range. So what we're going to do here is you're going to see the text button come up here so that you can actually type in what you're going to say. Now there are some limitations when you're doing your text. You're only going to be able to do two lines at a time, so keep that in mind. Also if you want to make changes, it's good to come up here to the inspector here and you can see a little bit of the options that you have, including if you want to have it be like, um, once you have a style that you've already defined, you can apply that as like a default and apply that to multiple clips. And then you can decide if you wanna do like a bold, italics or underline, and then you can change the text color as well. And I believe the background text is still going to um, have a black bar around it so that you don't really get to change. So here, what you're gonna do and the reason that you want to do this yourself as opposed to having YouTube sometimes do auto-generated ones is that the accuracy isn't always as good. So let's go ahead and play a little and see what happens. Hey everyone, welcome to Sony Save the Day. Okay, so that could be the first caption right there. Of course, you could choose to go longer, but I, I prefer to go in sentences. So if we go back and play that, it was... Hey everyone, welcome to Sony Save the Day. Hey, okay, hey. so it was... Hey everyone... Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. So you're going to see on screen that you're going to see the preview of what that looks like. Hey everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. Tonight's All right, that looks pretty good. You're going to see up here in the inspector window that now you have a start time and end time and what the duration is for that. If you decided that you wanted to change this, um, you, what you'll actually end up doing is dragging on the bar here, and then you'll see the time change over here. So you can't actually, that I've seen, change it from here. You have to change it from the slider itself. So if I wanted to, let's say for instance, say, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day, but have that be in bold, I could do that. And just change that. And you can see what that looks like when you run it. Hey everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. So now you can see that Shelly Saves the Day itself is bold. And so we're gonna go to the next line here. That's a long one here. We're going to do this and then we're going to go edit and captions and add a caption. Right, and you're going to see that it carries over the same types of settings. So that's good here. So Add a new caption under edit, captions, add caption. And you can see now why keyboard shortcuts really come in handy. I'm just going to change that to a lowercase one. So let's go ahead and play this real quick and see how it sounds. Oops, barriers and obstacles. That was backwards. Sorry, that was my fault. I'm going to go ahead and show you I have finished out all of the rest of the captions. You guys saw how I did it, adding the captions, listening to the audio, making sure that it lines up. So now what I have is my finished timeline and we're going to go back and play it one more time and just make sure that everything hey sounds right. My is here dedicated so that I can help remove barriers and obstacles. That was actually wrong, so I can help remove barriers and obstacles. Okay, so it's always good to go back and change it um, when you can in place so that it isn't incorrect when you upload it. So just take a little bit of time to actually make sure that the words match what you're saying.
All right, that looks pretty good to me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the export and we're gonna go to Apple devices here. And so I've already uh, named my file. It pulls it from whatever you named your video project. All right, and you see the settings here for output. I do video and audio on ProRes 422 and then under roles, I'm gonna make sure that the um, the captions, you click on that, and then you say the burn in caption, so it's on the screen the whole time. You wanna click the SRT one that you just did. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have that for the whole thing, the burn in captions, you see it here. And then you can export the SRT file so you can upload it separately to YouTube, which is great. And the timing is gonna go ahead and be relative. We're gonna include the text formatting so the things like bold and underline are gonna stay. And we're gonna go ahead and next, this is a very small file. It shouldn't take very long. We're gonna go ahead and export this. We're gonna show this. And now when we play it, we should see that the captions are burned into the screen. So that's looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and make this smaller. And you're also going to see in that output file, the test for closed captions. This is a separate SRT file that you can upload to YouTube. Now the reasons why you're gonna to wanna to do this, um, closed captioning is great for people who are maybe at work and can't listen to audio, people who can read visually, and sometimes people who are speaking from another language as well. If you can include the SRT file, um, they can see it on screen and maybe even translate it in their head at a better rate for them, as well as it expands your reach. And the reason why you want to do this, it expands the amount of people and audience that you can reach. So it doesn't take that much effort or time. There are services, of course, that you can pay to do this, but you already have to have a finished file and then you get the SRT script from them and then you would have to bring it back and do all of this again or... Um, if you wanted to have it burned in. There are services like rev.com where you can um, send a finished video. They can give you an SRT file. You can use that to upload to YouTube. Usually it's gonna run you about a dollar a minute to do that. It's a really great way to make sure you've expanded your reach and have been as inclusive as possible. You can also then do other languages as well, which helps expand your audience reach even more. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in a video very soon. Bye guys.